In key Senate races, Democrats buck leftward tilt on issues. Austin, Texas AP UMJ Hagar, the leading U.S. Senate challenger in Texas, rides a Harley Davidson in viral videos and has called herself an She is not a Democrat who promotes Medicare. The concern, Hagar says, is tying. It doesn't take a biker jacket to show that Democratic candidates in some key states in the 2020 Senate race aren't going along as much of the party's presidential field takes a hard liberal turn. Big gaps already President Donald Trump has sought to exploit the ideological rift between Democrats you and fire up his own base you by assailing four liberal women of color in Congress who call themselves they. Policy differences always exist inside the major parties, but to some voters the Democratic agenda could soon seem like a hopeless argument with itself. More than in years, even in moderate or conservative states, having. In Texas, party leaders say they are confident in Air Force veteran Hagar taking on Republican incumbent John Cornyn, but they also are not discouraging progressives from challenging her. The field organizer in Arizona, progressives were deflated when Republic. Ruben Gallego, Democrats need to gain at least three seats next year to capture the Senate majority, and the map is an uphill climb. GOP seats in some contested states, if the leftward presidential tilt continues, the party's nominee and Senate candidates could wind up contradicting on almost every major issue, from immigration and race to health care and education. Democratic cons activists say the party shouldn't worry that later, closer to the election, some states' voters might be confused over what Democrats actually want to do if elected. Running It's not clear yet how many Senate Democratic primaries will feature progressive candidates against moderates but such contests are more likely in House races where launching a campaign costs less. In Arizona, a top Senate target for Democrats, Kelly already has taken pains to distance himself from presidential contenders like Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, and Kamala Harris. He's come out against I. Progressives are better positioned in Maine. The liberal group just in Texas, O'Rourke drastically reset Democrats' expectations for victory in the state after coming within three percentage points of ousting Republican senior. Ted Cruz last, Hagar, 43, makes clear she plans to run a different campaign. Her compelling pers- Hagar rejects party labels. She said she didn't. Gilberto Hinojosa, chairman of the Texas Democratic Party, said Hagar may. At a recent rally for O'Rourke back in his home state, Crystal Riley, 30, said Hagar was where she needed to be. Bateau Associated Press writers Clarice Silver in Austin, Texas, Jonathan J. Cooper in Phoenix and Alan Fram in Washington contributed to this report.